Jorman Christina Lewis Pollard was initially pulled over for a signal light violation when he drove off. Officers then found him later here at his home. What they say happened next is something the Pollard family is finding hard to believe. After Jolene Gifford's father died after being shot by Fruita police over the weekend, her mind has been focused on one question. Why? Why did they just go lethal? Why didn't they tase? Why didn't they talk? A critical incident response team made up of local law enforcement agencies are hoping to uncover answers about the shooting, which started as a routine traffic stop. After a brief verbal encounter, the adult male unlawfully drove away. The officers did not pursue the driver per through the department policy. Police say they found the car parked in front of 61 year old Lewis Pollard's home. After hearing yelling inside, they asked the driver of the car to come out. They say that's when Pollard confronted the officers and pointed a gun at them. Gifford says that's something her father wouldn't do. Even if he did have the gun, it, he dropped it to the side so the cops would be able to see it. And from all of the intents and purposes, it looks like they just opened fire. Several bullet holes can be seen cutting through the corner of the house. It doesn't even look like they could see him when they fired the shots. Mr. Pollard displayed it and pointed it at the officers, and therefore the officers felt safety for their safety being jeopardized and addressed it accordingly. The investigation is anticipated to take several weeks. Until then, Gifford says she'll be trying to adjust to life without her father. It's the worst thing because I woke up Sunday morning and I saw all these people sending a happy Father's Day to their dads. And my dad wasn't here for me to send him a happy Father's Day. The three officers that were involved in the shooting have been placed on paid administrative leave. Stick with News Channel 5. We will bring you the latest updates on this investigation as they become available. For now, reporting live in Fruit, I'm Danielle Kreuter with News Channel 5.